There we go. Let's see if this is going to work. Okay. Yeah, it's good. We're set. All right. All right. So you got a bunch of tabs here, Dan, and um, I'm going to grill you right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cause I, I'm, I'm very curious, like, cause you know, you built your agency, right. Starting at that, um, that $500 potential point there up to uh, 100k mm -hmm. so you know your processes must be stellar and um, you know if you're if you start at 500 obviously like your your retention must be super solid and your um, your ascension model must be great so I want to learn all about that man because like I said when you know when you're working at these big agencies one of the things that that happens is that people drop off all the time in fact you know, when we look at the average customer value, it's pretty much just like if we sign this person up, the average is like $900 profit or something like that for the company. And that's how they look at it. And they'd love to keep people for longer, but the whole business is built around like, hey, it's it's profitable, like even if we keep them for three months. <laughs> yeah, so, that's so short-sighted yeah. though. Yeah, of course it is, man. I mean, it's like not only would, would those clients have a great digital marketing system, but you'd be a lot richer. And that's like that win-win situation is exactly why I, you know, I'm, I'm in the game. Yeah, why our philosophy it. actually goes completely counter to that because <clears throat> we don't really start making a lot of decent profit until after three months because we pour so much value up front in order to keep them long-term. Yeah, yeah. In fact, like, you know, I don't think, other i don't think people who are just starting an agency are necessarily going to need to to do that because it's likely that people are going to fulfill themselves and not have to spend money on like yeah. lots of different software and outsourcing but that is definitely probably the quote unquote right mindset once you hit a, a certain point because you know you got good relationships you're taking on people that you actually want to work with like mm -hmm. you know it's going to last a while so wh what is this thing here click up this is your so yeah, ClickUp is, yeah. is a uh, management software that we actually recently switched to. We used to use Trello and Asana, and we just found it. I mean, they worked, but they got to be a bit cumbersome. And we found that this software kind of encompasses a lot of those things together. It makes it a little bit easier. So we just break it down into two folders, really. So let me condense this one. Sure. Man. Um, so we've got sales orders, and we have yeah. our clients who would be listed here. And this is <clears throat> for uh, Color Bright Painting the client that we have for Chimera Media. But basically a client pays and they automatically get popped into this sales order section here and we organize it by, okay, here are the clients who paid and here are the clients who completed the onboarding form, right? Because sometimes people will pay and then take a few days before they actually get around to submitting the form. So I know, once, right? they, <laughs> once they pop up into this section here, this is when we can really start the entire process of actually mm -hmm. working on the client's website. Mm -hmm. Yeah, onboarding form is, do you have like a, a quick thing for the look, me to look through what that is or no? Yeah, um, it's a type form and let me just. It's embedded on this page here. So after they pay, they get redirected to this link here. And yeah. it makes it for it makes it for a pretty good user experience in terms of, you know, what they see. So let me maximize this. Right. So they read that and they just continue along, and it just okay. asks them a series of questions. Let's be questions. Let's begin. You know, we ask them for pretty much. We start off with basic information. What email do you use? to pay, um, your business name, do you have any social media profiles, do you have Google My Business, Google Analytics, basically all the questions that we need to start the process. And this is not a perfect system. There will be some times where you need to have a little back and forth with the client if yeah. they mess something up or it's not perfect. Sure, I get it. But this is, gets you pretty close. Yeah, I feel you. Okay, so let me go back over to ClickUp. So once we get that, information that gets thrown into their file here and we pretty much have all their information located in one spot here so everyone can refer to it if we need to so we've got the address okay, cool. all this yeah. all the basic information right and that's the starting point for the whole process okay so if we go back to um this thing so you, 
I, I derailed you. So you have the client onboarding form. This is really important because obviously you can't fill out their GMB and, and do any onsite without the right info. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So kind of like, <clears throat> don't just take the money, take the info. Like as yeah, soon as possible. And we used to, we actually, <laughs> we usually did, we did it backwards before we started asking for information before payment and it kind of turned them off to the process. <laughs> so we take payment first, yeah. helps motivate them a little bit. And uh, we usually yeah, we get more like, people yeah. filling out the forms after that. Oh yeah. It's like, once I give you the dough, I better figure this out myself now. Exactly. So, all right, so after you, you got this information, um, then what's the next step? You, you take that info, you're plugging it into uh, GM Bizzle? Um, not right away, actually. Well, there's a bunch of things that happen on the automation side of things. So when, this, when they submit this form, we actually automatically create a Dropbox folder with the client's name. And then, uh, let me see here, let me go back to the root folder. So we create the client's name as a folder, and then we actually generate the NAP file, pretty close to a complete NAP file automatically, and I'll get to that in a second, it's the schema code, which is what we upload to the client's website. Um, keyword research, that's something that Greg uh, does on his side, that's not generated right away, but we have the locations, yeah. which the client fills out, and the names of the services that the client fills out. Now, look, this is a vetting process. Locations, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah locations look. in which they service. Yeah, got it. Exactly. Actually, and this yeah, is a vetting process, though. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is a we bit of a vetting process, though, because sometimes they may fill this out, you know, in Cleed or whatever. So you just have to kind of go through this. And this is a, a check that we have on ClickUp to make sure that you you vet this. There could be more service. Uh, service types than this really and that kind of goes into Greg's video of keyword research but the core of their services and their locations we put in these two text files here yeah okay got it uh, the nap yeah. file I don't know if you're familiar with schema at all Name, address, right? phone number right but I mean we call it that it's really just the schema code um, we put this this is basically how Google reads uh, this data we're telling Google what this website is about right and we populate a lot of this automatically where we're putting, we're plugging in any social profiles they said they had, their website, their phone number. Uh, it's a local business. Um, we will go in and like, so logo. So what I would do for that, you know, very simply, I would just go to the client's website. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, man, this is seriously over my head. Let me ask you, <laughs> if I were doing this, I wouldn't have that schema file, or would I? You tell me. You would, because I would show you how to create that zap, which would oh. create 90% of that for you. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, it just makes it that much easier. <laughs> there are a few things that you're going to have to manually do. Like I put placeholder here because we just don't know what the logo image minutes. is. And I don't trust the client to have to right click and get their image and stuff like that. It's just easier for, for us or a VA to do it manually. But you would go in here and you'd replace that. Um, and we take another image off the, the website, a random one, doesn't really matter. We take the meta description off of the homepage. We put that in there. The address is already filled out from the client. Uh, so the latitude and longitude we would get from just one of these uh, latitude and longitude generators. Uh, La we would literally just pull in, put in their uh, their street address here. But doesn't Google just give you that then? Like, can you just type in lat longitude for an address and it would give it to you? In where? Like Google Maps. Uh, I don't trust it. I do that. This one, this one uses Google's API anyway. But if you put in the exact address, you're going to get it this way. Okay. Cool. This person's not even in Google My Business yet. Don't forget. They're, I know. Uh, I know. Get I, oh, I know. I know, man. I know. I, I just was in their account yesterday. They have a GMB. It's unverified. Right. So, um, what were what were we talking about? Like those photos and and things like that. Like these. Yeah. Uh, so one of the first things that we do for optimizing Google My Business. So let me just go back over to ClickUp just so we're kind of staying tracked here. So that kind of falls in line under GMB, Bing optimization. And I put Bing optimization under this because Bing optimization is is almost inconsequential because <laughs> they know that they have to play off of Google. So you literally just go into Bing and it says, do you have a GMB listing? Yes. Okay. Import it. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. That makes it nice I imagine, and simple. Like, I have this like idea in my mind. Tell me if this is accurate. Like all things equal, if you have, a, if you don't have a Bing or you do have a Bing, like it will bump you up above the guy. Like if there's two companies who are identical, they've done everything the same one has a Bing listing and one doesn't, is that Bing listing going to help them on Google? It can definitely help them on Google. It looks like they're way more legitimate. And don't forget, people still search on Bing. Firefox, Mozilla uses Bing as their default browser. What about their default Apple? Search what, engine. 
What about Apple uses Yahoo? Uh, Yahoo kind of follows Bing as well for a lot of the search results. Okay. All right, cool. Um, um, so, so yeah, as far as the yeah, images, uh -huh. all right, so part of the, one of the first things we do is we retrieve and download image groups by service name. So what does that mean? Let's go into our Dropbox folder. We have, we create this main images folder and then we create subfolders underneath that based on the service name. So if we go back to this text file here that was automatically created, the service names, that's all these folders are right there. You can manually create them. I also have a way that, let's say you had a list of like 20 and you're just super lazy like me and you just wanted to create them all automatically. There's a little program I have that will just automatically create folders based on a text files uh, list of, of lines. And I show, I'll show that in, uh, in one of my videos as well when I go over this yeah. part. Uh, but yeah. it just makes it a little bit easier if you want to speed things up. I mean, optimization, wow. I'm big into like optimizing your processes and just streamlining yeah. things. Yeah, because what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing from this, and this is like the part that I, I'm, I'm excited about, is like if you don't have to spend your mental energy on some of these like small or busy tasks, then you could utilize more of your like creative intelligence and um, like the part of your brain that actually matters that you're a human in order to do some of the other things. Hopefully, that you're about to show me in a second. Definitely, um, and you know, part of building a system is is that it's kind of fluid, right? You're gonna go back and, and refine it. It's never going to be perfect the first time because as you do things a few times, you start to see better ways to do them. And I'm not saying what I'm doing is perfect, but it's what's been working and you know I'm still refining as well. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I so- see a, Can we do a pressure yeah. washing pick? I kind of want, I like that. Yeah, you wanna do pressure washing? So let me just open yeah, it up because I haven't done the pressure washing one yet actually, so this is good. Okay. Or did I? No, I did actually get some, but that's fine. So the first thing I do is I open up this little tool here uh, called google.app, G-O-G-L.app. No idea who created this, but it's useful because some time ago, Google removed the option to set an actual minimum size. You can select small or medium, and large and extra large, but they removed the actual pixels. And when I upload images to Google My Business, ideally they're at least 300 by 300 or maybe a 350 there's a, they have an actual minimum but i like to go bigger so i like to do at least 800 by 600 so i use this tool and why I just is type that in, that you what like what's the benefit of that just like higher resolution higher quality images yeah i there's i mean there may be something uh concrete to the algorithm which does that but i know on instagram for sure which is a facebook product and i know a lot of these softwares kind of go off of the same ideas and concepts as that when an image is is a uh, higher resolution it has more value okay so let, let me uh ask you this these images that you have here are they um original unique photographs no they're not and we've tested this and we've just found that they don't even need to be the one process that we do for vetting is just making sure that they're not branded images you know we obviously don't want to promote someone else's company we don't want anyone's faces uh visible and that sort of thing Oh, can you scroll down, man? The one that says power washer looks hilarious, man. <laughs> power wash. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it just generates a list of these images, and you know it's going to have the minimum size that you need. Yeah. Uh, so what you can do if at this point. If we're talking, like, impact. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, impact, like impact wise. I really like, I like that one, right? Sorry, the one that's uh, got the side, but, like, the, uh, the bricks, one side clean, one side dirty. Yeah, the before and afters are always really good. That one, that looks one good. this one's pretty good on the deck. This um, one's pretty good. Yeah, so what we do is we take all these images and you can either right click and save them, which is kind of tedious, or you can use this Chrome extension I use called Download Images. And you just click that. Yeah. And it's going to download all of these images in one zip file for you. Um, now, this still, do, this still does require a certain level of vetting just because you're going to get like I said, some of those images that have brands in them, some faces from other people that you don't want, um, and that sort of thing. Um, and that sort of thing. You still hear me okay, Eric? Yeah, but it's, I just like something is popping in and out with my, um, with my speakers for some reason. I can hear you just fine. It just keeps okay. switching. Okay. Just uh, change the port here. It'll probably make a difference. All right, cool. So, so this is yeah, downloading. Got... It's 
breaking up a little bit there. Uh, so now that you have these picks, like what's what's the next step? Yeah, so I'm going to open up the zip folder here that, <clears throat> from all the pressure washing picks that we just took. Yep. And I'm just going to extract all of these into that pressure washing folder. Actually, let me go in there. Let me create a new folder because I already have one just so we can kind of go off this test. Let's call it pressure washing too. Cool. Okay, so we'll extract those. Let that run. Actually, just to save time, I'll just show you the, um, let me close that out. Let's go. Yeah, so essentially you're gonna be left with something like this. Okay, cool. Right, so we've got all these images that we just saved. So this is where I usually will uh, view this in extra large mode just to go quickly, extra large icons. Then you just kind of go through and remove duplicates, remove anything that just didn't pass the filter, like this is obviously an icon we don't want, you know, stuff like that, we don't want mm -hmm. that. You just get rid of all the so, junk. Yeah, but just to be clear though, you're not you're uploading these like piecemeal, right? Like week by week. No, we're uploading these all at once. Ah, and uh, and then what are we using? <clears throat> like, how many images should you upload? Like, why are we we're uploading them all at once? Like, I guess I'm just trying to. We're like, just trying to blanket. Number? Yeah, we're just trying to blanket Google My Business. It's not the number is going to be equal to the service name times service area times two, because we'll use, and I'll show you, we'll use. Um, Dude, that sounds interesting. That, that formula, I'm sure you didn't make it up from nothing. I mean, it's just, it sounds, I mean, it's more complicated than it is because it's really just common sense in that we're trying to rank for, uh, for example, we're trying to rank for interior painting. Well, where are we trying to rank for interior painting? We're trying to rank for it in a bunch of locations. We're trying to rank for it in Southampton, West Hampton. Uh, so it makes sense talk. that you have images that are tagged, geotagged, and title tagged with that area and the service. Exactly. Is that right? Exactly. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is really, this is, dude, Got this it. is crazy. I, I guarantee you, guarantee you that nobody, like, that a, like a company's not going to do this. Are you just no, like, it's just it's simple, no way. but it's, it's way effective. too much detail, way too much effort, way too much thought through. And, um, it needs to be done like manually. And so this is like, this is like labor that, yeah, there's a bit of like, an art to yeah. it. Oh, well dude, think about it for a second. Like when somebody, when a, when a, like a big quote unquote big box agency is trying to do things, they're, they're doing like the, minimum effective dose not like for google but so that the client thinks that they're doing something mm -hmm. or sees that they're doing something yeah but this is like this is pretty much like if you dot your i's and you cross your t's what i'm seeing from this with all these things like you're just going to give people the absolute best chance to be ranking on on gmb as soon as possible exactly it's basically telling google where you provide services and what type of services you provide in those locations. So when yeah. you end up with a fight, like, so let me open up one that we've done, sort of cedar restoration. And I started naming a bunch of these already. Um, actually, wait, oh, no, I, I, I deleted it because I was going to start over to show you, <laughs> to show you how to do it. Um, I can go through it right now, actually. Oh, man. Yeah. So let me open up how I do this. Um, let me minimize that. Uh, things in the way. So we've got this little tool here called Text Combiner. It's a pretty nice little thing here. So all I do, and you can see I've generated a list already here for, let's do for pressure washing, just because that's what we've been working with. So I'll put, I'll prefix this with pressure washing, and I'll put a space because I want there to be a space between, it basically is gonna yeah. combine this prefix with all of these locations that I put up here. And that's just that list I just showed you, right? Oh my God, that's insane, man. It's gonna produce can... one combination yeah. of 23 results, right? So let me generate. So you see how I've got pressure washing Southampton, 
pressure washing West Hampton and so on and so on. Yeah, I see that dude. All right, so I'm gonna copy these. I'm gonna select all, I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna open up this tool that I use called Ant Renamer. And essentially all this is doing is com is combining the images we downloaded and they've got all these with the names the names we don't care about right it's all these junk names that we don't want um, you know it's just random names from Google so I'll select all those oh and I got and you don't care which one of the pictures gets what tag. it doesn't it's irrelevant it's close enough because we searched if you remember uh, in that no, Google I no, yeah. I, no I get it no I know I get it I'm I get it. I totally get it. That's what I'm just trying to say is because it sounds like it just makes a lot more sense. This is this is really huge, man. Because as soon as I got off the phone, uh, well, off the Zoom phone with uh, Joe, I was thinking to myself, like, dude, if I put in, if I first of all make my own, let's say my own, or my own agencies, um, like get a new listing where I live, which is different mm -hmm. where than our other one, I could literally like do Google posts. Um, do this, get photographs, videos, all of this stuff on my listing. And I'm like so confident that no other agency in like, an, a, like a 70 mile radius is going to be doing anything like this. And when someone searches for like SEO agency near me, like I'm, I'm going to pop up. And the crazy thing is this is so effective. Like we've literally had people rank on maps just from doing this stuff. And <laughs> it's, it's just following a recipe. There's nothing here that's groundbreaking but it's just following the step-by-step -step process that we've kind of laid out I totally get it because I know for a fact that what like when someone would like if someone signs up with like a, a big company what they'll do is they want to be able to show that they're uh, getting results so for them it's more important to like prove that they're working to the client mm -hmm. than it is to get the results because if you think about it it is like a game of smoke and mirrors um because all you need to do is keep a client if, you, if you're like a big agency you're like i just need to keep this client whether i'm getting results for them is kind of like immaterial what i need to do is let them give them the impression that i'm getting them results mm -hmm. and so what they'll do is like they'll be like yeah i'm ranking you in your uh, in your town of course you're number one i'm like dude there's fifteen thousand people in this area like if yeah. i'm ranking number one i'm getting three calls every other month mm -hmm. so like if but if i'm ranking in my surrounding towns that now i'm opening that up to 60 70 150 thousand people absolutely and i have a shot at that yeah these big agencies i'll tell you what they do they throw on like five generic images from your website. They don't even really bother tagging them or anything like that. And then they're saying your Google My Business is now optimized. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and you'll, you'll actually never know about these title tags and your geo tags if you're a, a small business. No, definitely not. Like you, it's impossible because um, when you go into Google and you look at these images, like there are titles on the images or they're not, you tell me, or is it just like in the background? Uh, you could see them, but you know, most clients aren't checking that. They don't even know to check that. Like you said, you know, it's oh, just they're definitely not, man. Yeah, definitely not. I'm actually just thinking like, uh, for myself is cause I always like to think of a real example. It's like if I'm putting, let's say my agency GMB up there mm -hmm. it would be really, it'd be really good to like put an image that the person who's looking at the GMB listing would click on immediately and just like to engage them in it and I and the reason why I said I want pressure washing is because there's like a level of satisfaction when you look at a before and after pressure washing <laughs> that you like can't help but see it's like that's true you know it's it looks like one of those Instagram videos that you'd watch like for like you know one of those pointless videos that you're like oh man this is really satisfying to watch this process right oh, yeah yep oh yeah the before and after is, is great like same with yeah. restoration type stuff of wood the before and totally afters get me every time <laughs> Well, you got this, these things in here. What's our, what's our next step, man? Yeah. So, I mean, all I do now is the inverse of this. So we're going to do location followed by the service. So to do that, I just get rid of the prefix side of it. And instead it's going to be a suffix now. So I'm going to do space pressure washing, right? So we're going to produce more combinations and I'll generate those. Oh, and then you'll split it like one of that one for each one and one of the other one for the other one. Is that right? Yeah, I just add this to the bottom of that list that you just saw. So now we're covering all our bases because people don't just 
search one way. Some people will type city first plus the service area or they'll do service area plus the city. So there's no wrong way to do it. We just kind of cover multiple ways to find the result, right? Yeah, also you don't want to tag the same picture, two pictures with the same thing. Is that, right. Is right, this tool would this tool would not do that anyway, but um, this gives us an opportunity to get more images up there um, for the same type of service okay. and location. So is this, is Ant Renamer and Text Mechanic, are these free tools? Completely free tools. Um, actually the Text Mechanic, I believe if you do so many, it will ask you to pay, but you may be able to like go incognito and get around that. Um, it's it's pretty cheap though, but Ant Renamer is definitely free. Oh man, I, I kind of like, I, I want to do this like as soon as possible. I'm so curious. Well, because when I'm you're done here, it's really I'm simple. You just yeah. click go and that's it. Oh, okay. And so now, so the, the images are uploaded into their Ant Renamer and uh, okay, let's see what happens. So oh, look what we've got yeah. here, Bridgehampton pressure washing. This, we didn't vet this, but normally you would have just, you know, eliminated that one right off the bat. East Hampton pressure washing, East Hills pressure washing. And if I go down, we just kind of go through here and see. Um, East Hills, oh. uh, well, let me go to like a list view because you yeah. still have to filter out some of the extra images. Yeah, the doubles and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so we didn't go to that level of vetting just yet, but um, we go to small icons. Okay. Well, when I see a doubled up picture in a GMB, I'm like, I shake my head. Yeah, so you would, we would vet a lot of these out already from the beginning, but you can see we've got all these optimized images by city and pressure washing. And then we also have uh, the inverse as well, such as old Brookville pressure washing. So yeah. all of these optimized images like that, we would then geotag. So that's the next step. Okay, so, so yeah, show me that next step. You wanna show you that? Sure. To see it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But so let me also ask you this. I asked this to, to Joe and um, and uh, I, think, I think he said the answer. I don't remember the answer actually. But so when you're doing like naming and you have the dashes or the spaces between like pressure dash washing dash driveway, like does does Google read a dash or a space the same way? Or? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I mean, some people argue that, but in my experience, a dash is treated identical to a space. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. So so that's the, that's... Let me find the geotagger. Uh, so let me pull this down here so mm -hmm. I can see it. Okay, so I use this little tool here here called Tool dot geoingr dot com. Uh, I believe it is free to do single images, but if you want to do it in bulk, you can pay for it, which is again a very nominal fee. Um, and all you mm -hmm. do is you plug in the lat and the longitude here, which you and that got goes on the other site. Yeah, and actually, I need to um, actually get it because I didn't put it in. So I go back to the to that schema file where we got the address from the customer, from the client. Mm -hmm. I just want to say I'm so demystified right now and in, in the best way possible because one of the things I used to do um, for, for, you know, the big box company that I worked at and I would always look at the other big box company is like, oh yeah, I'm with uh, Haibu or I'm with Yellow Pages or I'm with, you know, Hearst Media or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I would like, look, like what do their GMBs look like? What do their sites look like? And, uh, yeah, they were way worse. Like my, <laughs> my, my big company was like the best big company. You know, I, I knew that at the time, but now that I actually see what like real like boutique digital marketing agencies do for their clients, I'm just like, holy crap. Like they did nothing, but it was so much better than the nothing that like the worst companies did that I, I thought it was like, you know, superhero level shit. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly right. I think a boutique experience is going to give you pretty much a better result every time because there's nothing wrong with the, the, the big guys, but they're so big they don't care about the details anymore. You know, well, I think they've that's what, too big. No, they, that's why there is something wrong with them because <laughs> they, <laughs> they, they, don't, they don't need to. Yeah, exactly. They don't. They don't need to. Okay, you got right, these. So I just, pl I just plugged in there to have it. I'm going to save that file, um, and then I will – Go back into where we were geotagging. Yeah, but uh, let me ask you this, dude. Yeah. What it, so you're geotagging the location of the business, right? Correct. 
but if you have the location of the business and there's the service area so for that particular service area are you going to do a different geotag no only if there's a different google my business location you okay, are geotagging based on the g the gmb location okay got it because okay. it seems like it'd be a ridiculous amount of work to do that first of all yeah and there's just really no benefit to doing that um if you had because that location is servicing all those areas and you're building that uh, connection with all of the image tagging that we've already done. Okay, good, good. And that, the other thing was, uh, if I take the picture on my iPhone, my iPhone already geotags a photo. Is that possible that you won't need to geotag if the photo already has that embedded into the info? That's correct. If it's already there, you don't need to uh, worry about it at that point. These are oh, images nice. though that we got from from Google yep. directly, so we need to uh, okay. geotag them. Oh, well, what's cool is if like, I guess if you had your person send you like, you know, a couple dozen images or something like that, sometimes people do, they're like really on top of their, on top of their game. And you should, you should definitely ask the client if they can send you images, especially of their storefront. We always ask the client, take a picture of the front of your store and send that to us because they'll upload that right to the Google My Business. Yep. Yep. It, it's so, you know, I, I've been thinking lately a lot because I actually just moved, I moved recently or at least looks like we're going to have like a, at least a summer, spring, fall house where, we, mm -hmm. where I'm right now. And I was, I always look like on GMB and it's like, it's a pretty rural area. I got to tell you, like when a company doesn't fill out their GMB, I'm just like, oh man, like there's two types of businesses around here. There's the type of business that like pays attention to their internet marketing and just like their internet presence that type of business like opens and closes at the hours they say they're going to mm -hmm. like i know if i call them someone's going to pick up the phone like and so it's so important for me to like to know that and i know that when i see a business that has like a, a google satellite image as their one of their photos i'm like oh this is going to be trouble <laughs> <laughs> So you can see it's just pretty much telling us that all these images had no geotags to begin with. <clears throat> In the event that you did upload one of those images you were talking about from your phone, it would it would probably say, hey, geotag found, and it could overwrite it if you wanted to, if you were uh, overwrite, but you wouldn't want to do that. Dude, I just got to tell you, right now, just even all the tools slash like software I'm seeing right now, like how could you possibly figure that out? It's like, trial and error, honestly. Like you have to try a million different things to narrow the list down and keep narrowing it down, narrowing it down until you find the tools that are your bread and butter day in and day out to work with clients. And sure. Yeah. These are the well, ones I that we've found to yeah. be the best. Yeah. But no, I, and it's, it's, I and mean, obviously you put the, you know, crap load of effort into that. And, but it's almost like, um, I'm thinking to myself, if I wanted to start an agency <clears throat> from scratch, like I, it would take me, forever to figure this stuff out and i'd be i'd be literally like wasting hours on each client hours and hours without these tools yeah i mean you definitely need to optimize your time it, even if it's for a va because you're still spending you're still paying them by the hour for the most part oh sure unless you have some sort of free va which is immoral <laughs> <laughs> yeah internship uh, yeah all right well so dude so you got these geotagged already Yes, yeah, so these what, are already geotagged now. So now we just uh, would download all these. Um, let's see here. Can you mass download? There used to be an option like you... for that. Let me see here. Well, what I is, just have to what confirm. Well, now it's just, it's it's writing it to the image when you click it like that. So okay. the XIF oh, tag is download. just a fancy way of saying geotag. It, yes, it, okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. If, if, why is there zero document name in some ways? Like if you wanted to, it, it looks like you could probably like manually type all the things we just did right here. In, in the document name you're saying? Yeah, you could, you could, you could further um, put some things in here. Um, I haven't found it to be beneficial in terms of a results uh, in terms of the results you get from doing this, but oh, no, I'm sure you get no results from it. I'm just saying like, uh, does it does it overwrite any information that's already there or it just adds in a geotag no it would just add this to the so document name this could be an xim or excuse me an xif tag so a geotag is an xif tag if you were to right click an image you could view all the the xif data for an image mm -hmm. and it would just be further information about it image description you could put in more for it than if you wanted to um, i would say if you're doing this yourself 
it's probably not worth your time for a VA. You could possibly tell them to go ahead and throw in something yeah. for the image description. But again, I've seen negligible results, if any, from doing that. So we yeah, don't even yeah, worry no, about I, it anymore. I'm already, yeah, this is like, we're killing it already. So, okay, you've done this. Let's just like, um, let's, do you have the GMB like open for the, for uh, Colorbrite? Yeah, let me, uh, let me pull it up. Let me just download a couple more of these real quick. Sure, sure, man. Man, I had like this feeling, well, it's not like a magic feeling. I got this feeling uh, that if I make my GMB listing and get some of these picks in and uh, like I'm going to generate phone calls from my own agency, like my satellite agency site, which I, I'm calling it like a Catskills SEO <laughs> agency. Nice. Yeah. I mean, why not? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Why not see if I can get an EMD, right? Yeah. So I'm going to Google my business now. Uh, obviously, we still are waiting on the postcard to get there, right, for the, for the client. Yeah. So if the postcard isn't there, like nothing happens essentially. Is that right? Yeah, but we can still do all this other stuff while that's happening. So when that finally gets registered and it's verified, yeah, when we're done. Yeah. And I also know that like sometimes Google takes a while. Like let's say you do all the on-site for, for um, a domain, a new, you know, new website or an existing website. Mm -hmm. it might not like pick it up right away, right? It could take a couple weeks. Is that right? It can. It does. It can take time. I mean, sometimes, you know, Google is Google, so they're going to do what they want to do. And you can call yeah. them up and try to explain stuff to them. But at the end of the day, right. you just have to yeah. wait. <laughs> but, that, but that's like with your, your site. And because I know that precision mold removal, actually, um, they put up a page and it goes up the same day. Like it gets indexed and stuff like that and searchable on Google right away but so that's much authority probably, behind it exactly exactly but with the gmb like i guess i'm what i'm asking you is if i put up a gmb that was just like triple quadruple optimized and just better than another gmb like could it potentially rank the same day or it probably has got to wear in a little bit yeah i think it's even after verifying it's just the process of of what it is because we've had the same issue before where for some reason, Google, Google dropped one of our Google My Business listings. And again, this is for a site that's huge, you know, large city, been dominating the area for a long time, got dropped out of it. We fixed it. We got it back. And it still took about three days to catch up. Mm -hmm. So I think that's just part of the process. Oh, three days. Okay. That's not going to kill you. No, that's not going to yeah. kill you. All right. All right. Um, Color right painting of Long Island. Okay. Oh, you're in the GMB. Could you? I am in the full, GMB. Full screening this for is yeah. that possible? Yeah. Yes. All right. Cool. All right. So let's see here. So you, uh, you probably want the image that's second in from the top left corner to be the main image, right? Because the top left corner one looks looks weird. Which one are you looking at? This here? I didn't upload these. I think maybe Joe went in and did these. Yeah. How do you – oh, and look, dude, it's got eight views. Does that mean you've viewed it eight times or uh, – Most likely, yeah. I don't think anyone else is probably finding this. So how do you, like, how do you order these images? Just like drag? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't even know if it lets you drag them. I don't think there's any reason to really to mess with these. You want to put – you know, make sure your cover and your logo images are fine. Other than that, you don't need to – Oh, okay, I, I just, I just saw, much. I just saw the color cover logo. I didn't, I didn't get that. Yeah, All right, so cool. I would so this change is, the cover yeah. probably to something else because that's looks like it's just the uh, logo blown up. Uh, I think we're still mm -hmm. waiting on the cover image to be created. Okay, so I mean, it looks like we did it, man. Uh, yeah, so all I did was click on the plus icon here, and then to you know, we just find those images that we that we created and geotagged. You know, so like here's one pressure washing Lord Harbor, right? So just open that. So you know, it's interesting. It's interesting. Here. Like, was, if I click I on that, put it on there. Okay, go ahead. Let, let's. Can you pop that guy open? Yeah. Just like, so I'm trying to think, like the. Um, it's just being a little slow here. Okay, that's fine. The the average person who's like making their own GMB, right? Because there's a couple situations in which, you know, when you're selling to someone or you're, you're talking about this, it's like either they're hiring a big box agency to do it for them already. Mm -hmm. um, and we know, you know, that scenario or they're doing it themselves. And 
like they might not even know of the idea of geotagging and then putting these keywords in there. Like that might even be just completely foreign. Uh, and it probably is for a lot of them. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to see when you click on that image, like what does Google pull up and show you? Like, does it, is there any, here, if you like click on that. Yeah, unfortunately it's being weird on this browser where it's not okay. showing me the image. The, uh, uh, the, or, or the edit ability. Uh, let me see. Normally you do see a screen for that. I think mm -hmm. it's kind of being wonky in this browser though. Can you geotag a logo too? I can you just geotag any photo. You can geotag any image. Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we just blanket geotag, you know, pretty much all the images. If so if you just click on the logo just for a second, maybe that'll the, the pencil. Oh the uh, the added uh, icon of it, let's see. Uh yeah, oh, this is good. Oh no, it's it's not letting you take a look at it. All right, no, well, this is more if you wanted to change it. I right, got you. All right, so here's what I'm thinking is, like, this seems pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, so you would guys. do that for all of your services that you have. So we had, we did pressure washing. We didn't complete it, obviously, but then we would go back. And we would do this for interior painting, exterior painting, and I believe the other one was cedar restoration. Yeah, so essentially, like, you have... All this is like this is this is like getting pretty intense. I'm so it's like <laughs> you have those are just four services. But if you look at the GMB listing that Joe and I did, there's mm -hmm. like ten services. So essentially, yeah. you've got ten services multiplied by all the locations you serve, which is like another twenty. So that's literally two hundred photographs. That's a lot. And then times two, that's four hundred. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. insane. Dude. Now you can see why this... you need these these little tools to <laughs> help you out. Yeah. Oh my God. It's, cr it's legitimately crazy. Like I yeah. would lose my mind if I didn't have these tools, but there's just no way that a big box company or even like the average boutique agency is going to do this. Like I can't imagine them doing this. And they don't do it. They just don't do it. <laughs> and this is why, our clients stick with us because we are ranking their Google My Businesses and their maps. It's almost like this. It's like, it, I can just imagine like, hey, what are you guys doing for me? It's like, oh, well, you just uploaded 400 images and tagged them and geotagged them. Yeah. If you, yeah, it's like, oh, okay. If you were to do that yourself, sir, it would probably take you about 12 hours. <laughs> well, maybe longer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then yeah, what you okay. do too, and like we, what we also like to do is take that, like I was telling you in the beginning of this video, is that we take the uh, keyword research uh, that, you know, based on Greg's video where he finds more long tail keywords. So instead of something like um, just uh, interior painting, it might be interior painting company. And now you're doing what we just did for interior painting company. But that's something that you should probably do in month two, three, and four. So like I said, we like to do the core upfront in month one per client and then mm -hmm. every subsequent month we'll add at least one new uh, image directory basically as we can call it yeah. where we're doing the steps sure. of finding the images tagging the images geotagging them uh, you know and then the doing process. a poster too and exactly doing a poster too yep man I can imagine that after like even just probably three months that like your Google my business listing is like an incredibly fat man in terms of filled up with good stuff mm -hmm. like just oh, like yeah. stuffed with like yeah, he's all happy. these <laughs> yeah he's very happy very happy oh man i uh i didn't i didn't expect it to be um to be so comprehensive and that's why it's so important to stay organized and you know i'm not saying that everyone must use ClickUp, but i think it's perfect for this type of thing for client management and, and task management mm -hmm. otherwise it makes it extremely cumbersome. And when you can start assigning VAs, once you get to that level, I mean, at first this should be, you know, a one man operation and there's nothing wrong with that, but eventually you have different people assigned to different things. And there are tasks that are uh, dependencies of other tasks. So basically this means that this image one can't be done until this one's done. So that kind of thing. And you can build all that out inside of this. Oh, okay. It it nice. Order of operations. So exactly. like yellow means like on hold. Yep, yellow means you can't do it until the red is done. But it's the next step. After oh, all no, this? It's, no, no, not like it's the next step. I just realized, yeah, there's certain things like you could do any of these whenever you want, That's but the correct. yellow ones have a preceding step. Right, and this is independent of 
this list. This could be related to something in another part of the list, right? It doesn't really matter. We just mm -hmm. need to understand where the dependencies are. Okay, cool, man. Wow, this is, yeah, is ClickUp, is that a free piece of software? No, it's it's not. not, but it's like seven bucks for one user, like for you, for, for buyers, oh, it's super cheap. Super cheap, yeah. All right, wow, man, I'm, I think I'm kind of like burnt on this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 no, no not, no, not in a bad way. I mean, I think like I'm already, if you did nothing else, like I would just, you know, if we did nothing else for a client that we hire, you know, that signed up mm -hmm. and just did this, like, it would impress the crap out of them. It impresses the crap out of me because like, if this is just how the, the level of detail and technical that we go into just for one element of this, mm -hmm. like, you know, and, and then what I did with, you know, Joe and like the crossing the, uh, the T's dotting the I's there. Like, I mean, I know that I want to be able to say to a, a client or a prospect prospective client when I'm, when I'm talking to them about this, I'm like, listen, like, I cannot guarantee you results. Like it's just not possible, but I can guarantee you that we will do every possible thing we know that makes a difference in order Definitely. to get your listing ranking. Absolutely. And that, that is like a very powerful thing to say. Oh yeah. That's, that's when it's a win-win where you can sleep at night knowing that you've serviced and fulfilled the best that you possibly could. Yep. And it's, what's great is like if, if you, let's say don't get results or they're not happy, it's like, listen, I'm going to show you, I, I can show you everything that I've done. Mm -hmm. It's the exact same level of detail and awesomeness that I've done to get like, you know, way more competitive things, ranking and all that stuff. Like if you stick it out, then you will, you will get results. And the truth is if, if you, let's say you want to like do something else or do it yourself, there's just no way you're going to do better than this. It's like, it's like <laughs> you can say that so like there's no way you were going to get a better job done. Mm -hmm. And so that's it. Yeah, that's why, you know, a lot of people when they start agencies off, you know, in the beginning, they, they pretty much undersell themselves because they don't think what they're doing is a value. But this is already 10x the value of what the big agencies are doing for people. They're, like you said, they're just literally looking at them as a number. They know they'll be profitable if they stick with them for at least X number of months, which is usually like three or less. And that's it. Yeah, six is like a, a nice, a nice job. I also know, we also know from working at a big agency that there's there's mathematics behind these things so for example if someone um stays for the full three months there's a good chance they'll stay for six months if someone stays for six months their retention is like their rate of like long-term retention is pretty high if someone stays for 12 months there's a 99 percent retention on mm -hmm. that customer so they might literally stay forever yeah and so the longer you could keep a customer um, and this is something that obviously as a small agency, you know, you could benefit from these numbers too, um, using them for good, not, not evil, so to speak. <laughs> but, you know, if you can't, if you just keep that customer, if you keep that client for nine months, 12 months, six months, um, like you, you'll obviously get results by that time, yeah. but they're going to, they're going to be, they're going to stay. That's how Definitely. it is. They're, they will stay because there, there's comfort in there. And then there's like, I, I, there's a guy actually who, who uh, we recently just onboarded who was working with a really large agency, um, uh, like a, a Yellow Pages type agency. And they were saying like, yeah, we just, uh, we don't want to get rid of them because they're the devil we know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, so right. that's why it's easy for the boutiques to go in there and, and get these guys. <laughs> yeah. Wow. All right. Cool, man. So uh, this seems about it. And um, thanks for taking the time to go over with you. Yeah, man. The I hope that was helpful for was you. High. Oh my God, totally, man. I, I mean, my goal in this Under the Hood series, man, is to come away like having a lot of bullets in the gun to be able to communicate with people to, to just like authentically say like, I have looked through this thing Definitely. and it is, it is like foolproof. It awesome. is like your silver bullet. All right. Thanks, and I'm man. putting all, yeah, of course, I'm putting all these links for the stuff like the Ant Renamer and all these little tools that are free and, you know, nominal fees in that resources file. So I'll make sure that that gets shared with you too. So you can just have easy access to it. All right, cool. Cool. I, I actually yeah, share it with me because I'm actually, well, not this week because I'm, we're working on a lot of different things this, this coming week. Yeah. But after that, I definitely want to build out my own GMB uh, because I'm curious to see how well I can do on it. <laughs> I'm very curious. Right. I'm, well, I'm follow confident. these steps. I think you're going to do very well with it.